As we are in our closets, you maybe you are in your dining room or in your a place that you have set to pray or an altar that you have made. Today we want to thank the Lord because he is faithful and he is good. So let us pray. Father, as we gather this morning, may your spirit work within us. As we read your word, Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit will teach us and guide us. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Wow! It is indeed beautiful and good. The sun has risen and the clouds are very bright. And we are thanking God for his word. Today we shall read from the book of First Peter chapter 4 from 7 to 11. And my topic today is what is your gift? I know our God is a good God. He is a planner. God is perfect and anything that he does and put in place is done at the right place and at the right time and it's rightly. There is nothing that God has put in place which is wrong. So we want to look at our gifts and by the end of the day today we shall know how to do or how to walk in accordance to the word of God. First Peter as I was reading the book of Peter, in it I was seeing a lot of teachings, a lot of uh, ways of how to live according to God's way, how we ought to walk and behave. And as Peter was talking to the church in chapter 4, I'll read it from verse 7. He was encouraging them and telling them, the end of all things is near, therefore be clear-minded and self-controlled. So that you can pray, above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sin. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. And he continues to say that each one should use whatever gift God has given, has given them, whatever gift God has received to serve others faithfully administering God's grace. I will read it again. Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others faithfully administering God's grace in its various form. Any, if anyone speaks, he should do it as one speaking the very words of God. If anyone serves, he should do it with the strength God provides, so that in all this God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. And I will really look at gift today. And I want to ask you, do you know your gift? For us to avoid fighting, or grumbling because they were told to avoid grumbling that each one of them should use the gift that they have received to serve one another administering God's faithfulness and this is what I want us today to learn as we go out 
we know that God created each and every person very beautiful and God has gifted us differently and in our own capacity everybody is very important there are those who are given ability to teach there are those who have been given ability to sing we have those who have been given ability to run we have those who have been given ability to cook everyone has something good that they can do so the bible was very clear that to avoid fighting because sometimes we fight because we do not know what we are gifted to do you want to do this and when you are given to do it you can't do it you want to do this when you are given the task to do you can't perform so today the word is telling us that because god has gifted us with gifts i want us to take the old day just thinking about what am i created for what am i good in doing i know i'm good i like encouraging so a day cannot pass without encouraging someone and i have learned that that is one gift that god has given me i don't know which gift that god has given you so that you can use it faithfully the bible said we use our gift faithfully so if god has given you something to use it don't boast because it does not belongs to you it is god who has given you so that you can go out and serve others if you are good in praying take time and pray for people if you are not good in singing don't sing there is something that you are good in maybe preaching take time read the word of god and preach you are good in running you cannot maybe walk because when we were doing races in school there were those who were doing walk races there were those who were running i know i was doing a uh, long distance running so i loved running until today when i walk people see me like uh, my steps are very fast but that is how i walk so i don't know what your gift is because when we understand our gifting then we shall be serving god's people pro pro properly we shall not be fighting because of what we have if we look at ephesians chapter 4 it talks of various kinds of gifts that there were those who were pastors there were those who were evangelists there were those who were intercessors there were those who prophesied the word of god so god is not wrong god is right so as we start the day don't worry the holy spirit will direct you and even you yourself you can know there is something good you are always doing that when people look at you or see you they will tell you yes you have done that work very nicely you are always good at it please pray about it and perfect it because god has gifted us if you don't know we shall ask god to tell us our gifting so we want to go out praying today just to know our gifts we will take a lot of time just asking god to allow us to know so that when we understand the gift that we are created the purpose that we are created for then we shall be serving and there shall be no quarrels among ourselves so let us pray father we want to thank you lord we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts because lord you are gracious you are wonderful You are marvelous Jehovah God. You are a God who has given us his word freely without purchase of father. Today we have learned about gifting our God and in your word it says that each one should use the gift that you have given them to serve others faithfully administering your your you Lord. So we pray that father as we shall be praying meditating on this word that you will reveal to us our gifting that when we come to your house Jehovah God where in our, when we are in our families of oh father when we are in the community of oh father we shall be using the right gifts as you have given us oh lord to avoid quarreling and to avoid grumbling oh father because we know we are weak oh Jehovah God and many a times we compete because of works oh lord we are saying it is no more of competition in the name of Jesus that when we identify our gifts lord we shall serve you rightly oh father so as we go out oh Jehovah God increase in us those who that have discovered their gift oh lord if they are prayerful people Jehovah God may you increase in them so that they can continue to pray if they are preachers of oh father may you increase in them the word so that they can preach perfectly if they are 
people who just do hospitality, you King of Glory, may you clothe them all, Father, that when they go out to work, Father, they will do it faithfully because Lord you are the one who gives Jehovah God and we should not boast about any gift that you have given us. We are asking all this O oh Lord that you take us out and lead us. In Jesus name I pray and believe Amen and Amen Thank you Oh Lord my God when I in awesome wonder Consider all the words thy hand hath made I see the stars, I hear the mind